Let's now see what happens if we replace two of the hydrogens in cyclohexane, both with a substituent. This is called dye substitution. And for these observations, all the substituents are going to be methyl groups. There are a variety of patterns that can arise. We're going to start by looking at cis-1-2. The 1-2 tells us that the methyl groups are attached to carbons 1 and 2 of the ring. Cis tells us that the methyl groups lie both on the same side of the ring. So if we draw a dotted horizontal line through a ring carbon, both methyl groups will either lie above the line up, or both methyl groups will lie below the line down. One methyl group is axial, the other is equatorial. Let's look at the molecule and try to identify any significant steric strain here. One type of steric strain present is called a gauche interaction. It's between the methyl groups themselves. And it becomes obvious why it's called gauche if we look at the molecule as a Newman projection. The two methyl groups have a gauche conformational relationship with each other. The gauche interaction adds 3.8 kilojoules per mole in energy to the molecule. There's another type of steric strain here, and that's a 1,3 diaxial interaction between hydrogen and methyl. This is also worth 3.8 kilojoules per mole, but there are two of them, which brings us to a total of 7.6 kilojoules per mole. So if we add all the interactions up, so that's the gauche interactions and the 1,3 diaxial interactions, we have a grand total of 11.4 kilojoules per mole of energy added to the molecule due to steric strain. Now, all 1,3 diaxial interactions are actually gauche interactions, but not all gauche interactions are 1,3 diaxial interactions. And this is because 1,3 diaxial, axial and equatorial are synonymous with rings, and not all gauche interactions are cyclic in nature. Some are acyclic. For the purposes of this discussion, we will describe a gauche interaction as having both components that are indirectly attached to the ring. And we'll use the term 1,3 diaxial interaction to tell you that one component is directly attached to the ring, namely the hydrogen. The other component is indirectly attached to the ring, namely the methyl group. Okay, so let's take this cyclohexane that's disubstituted and ring flip it. This alternate chair conformation will now be inspected for steric strain. Okay, so we can see one gauche interaction, and that's worth 3.8 kilojoules per mole. We can also see two one three diaxial hydrogen methyl group interactions, and they in total together are worth 7.6 kilojoules per mole. So the grand total here for all the energy added due to steric strain is 11.4 kilojoules per mole. Either chair conformation has the same steric strain energy. So both are equally likely to occur. They have the same population present.